You know how I keep trying to teach all of you to look for the similarities rather than the differences? Well, it looks like Bionic Pig and I actually have a whole lot in common. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I got exciting news, check it out. Just got in our brand new Rewired Soul merch. Tristan and I for a little Christmas present to ourselves. Like, we don't own any Rewired Soul merch, so I got myself a hoodie. And then, and then, for all the people out there who think I'm a narcissist, would a narcissist wear something like this? Huh? I didn't think so. I'm taking this sweater off because I'm kind of hot. And speaking of merch, my beautiful, talented girlfriend Tristan designs all the merch and check out this new design up in the merch store now. Link is down in the description. So if you want some good vibes and want to rock an adorable Wyatt t-shirt or hoodie or get yourself a mug, go check out the link down in the description below or get one of my shirts and we could be twinsies. Oh yeah, and before I forget, use coupon code SOLUTION to get yourself 10% off anything in the store. Actually, it's your entire purchase. So use the code SOLUTION. All right, so Bionic Pig, <laughs> welcome to the Thunderdome. So those of you who don't know who Bionic Pig is, he's an, uh, a commentator here on the platform. Um, Tristan has been a fan of his forever. She actually introduced me to his channel. And then I saw that uh, Bionic Pig and Elvis the Alien, they're actually friends and they did some collabs together. Absolutely hilarious. So Bionic Pig, you know, he started out by doing like commentary on like Instagram stuff and, you know, different YouTube channels. And recently he dove into singing, um, like critiquing uh, people who sing, especially YouTubers. And Tristan actually told me this about Bionic Pig. She's like, told me that like, Bionic Pig comes from a family, you know, of musicians. He like, you know, went to music school. He can like play instruments and sing and he makes his own music. I'm like, what? So I've been really fascinated with seeing him make these, uh, these reviews of different YouTubers. And I made a video about Tristan Paredes too, where I talked about like, I, I'm a huge fan of like vocal competitions and stuff. And like, it's really fascinating to me. I just, I, I like learning about how like singing works and what you could do to like, actually work on it, it's, it's very fascinating to me, right? And anyways, from my perception, watching Bionic Pig, um, he's very fair and he's and he's nice and like, you know, he, he jokes around and gives some people some tough love and isn't afraid to call him out, but he's been getting a lot of flack for it, right? And the main topic I want you guys to pull away from this video is perception versus reality, okay? Not everything that we perceive as being real is actually real, all right? So Bionic Pig just made a video about Joji, all right? Those of you who don't know who Joji is, he um, grew to YouTube fame with uh, his Filthy Frank character. He's um, friends with a bunch of other awesome creators and things like that. But recently he, uh, not recently, and within the last few years, he ditched YouTube to pursue a, a singing career. And Bionic Pig, I remember seeing him tweet about this and like he knew, he knew what was coming, right? And again, like I said in the intro, we gotta look for similarities rather than differences. And this is kind of what I talked about in my Tristan Paredes video. Like, Bionic Pig, as somebody, even though he's not a vocal coach, he's educated on this stuff, right? He's gone through vocal training, and he's admitted, I've seen him admit on Twitter, like, I know I'm not a perfect singer, but there are things that people can do, you know what I mean? And here's, here's the thing, at the end of the day, as human beings, like, isn't the goal to just improve ourselves on a daily basis? Like, I, I just, I just don't see the point in think, thinking that people are flawless. That's part of the misconception that we get. Like, so many people beat themselves up because they're not perfect at something, and part of it is because we suffer from the delusion that thinking people are perfect, right? And Bionic Pig was actually very, very fair in his um, critiques of Joji, right? Like, he talked about, like, this guy has a good voice. He just needs to do certain things. So... I actually sent out a tweet to Bionic Pig. I'm like, hey dude, DM me. I'm making a video about you, I wanna talk. So I asked him, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be talking about perception versus reality. So like, can you just tell me like, what what is your intention? Like when you make these videos, what is your intention? So Bionic Pig replied with, my reasoning for making these videos is when I see potential for someone to do so much more. When Joji was singing how he was, it was irritating because he could sound so much better if he learned how to sing without straining and damaging his voice. 
Exactly. Exactly. Like, that's, that's one of the things that I try to explain with, like, tough love. And, like, let's, let's put it this way. I'm going to be harder on my son than some random kid I just walked past. And it's because, you know, I, I care about my son. I want to see him improve. Like, the best people in your life, I always say this, the best people in your life are going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, right? And basically what I'm doing here on the platform is I'm analyzing different things that are already public. What I love the most is when people are like, you're taking their confidential information like you guys. I don't know how I, how, how hard I have to, how much I have to explain this to you. Like anything posted on YouTube is not private. Come on, baby. <laughs> it ain't that hard. But anyways, I'm looking at this stuff and like, I don't believe that anybody's hopeless when it comes to their mental health. Everybody can improve. So when I started doing this kind of shift and using YouTubers as an example, I never thought in a million years, right? I never thought that I would ever get to a point where YouTubers would ever even see my videos, right? I was doing it knowing that you're already watching their content and maybe you can learn something from it, right? So for example, like maybe, you know, maybe Bionic Pig knows that people are aspiring singers. Tristan Paredes talked about this. He makes his videos for the fans, for the people who are consuming the music, right? Like what if people are aspiring singers? For example, Bionic Pig says this about Adele. Singing properly does not mean singing pretty. That has nothing to do with singing pretty. There are plenty of singers out there who sing properly who don't sing pretty. Take, take Nirvana, for example. He doesn't sing pretty. He doesn't sing the traditional pretty, but he's singing properly. He's not ruining his voice. By the way, by the way he's screaming. By the way he's yelling. He's yelling correctly. He's screaming correctly. And so, in turn... He's not ruining his voice. Take Adele, for example. Oh, she does. She sounds traditionally well. She sounds like she's traditionally trained. However, she's singing improperly and she's singing wrong. And in turn, she had to get surgery on her vocal cords because she's singing wrong. Exactly. Exactly. You guys, like it's important to realize that with everything in life, with everything in life that we do, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things. So what Bionic Pig is saying is like, if you do not sing correctly, you are going to strain yourself. And somebody like Adele had to actually get surgery. And Bionic Pig actually talked about how, you know, a lot of people like their voice will be hoarse because they're singing improperly. So it's very, you know, raspy and messed up afterwards. You see what I mean? If you're doing things wrong, you cause more damage. So not only with singing, but think about it. There's a right way and wrong way to cook. There's a right way and wrong way to fix a car. It's the same thing with mental health, right? But the cool thing about mental health is you got options, right? There's a wrong way to treat your anxiety, and then there's a bunch of right ways to treat your anxiety. There's a wrong way to treat your addiction recovery. There's a bunch of right ways to treat your addiction recovery. There's a wrong way to, you know, communicate in relationships. Then there's a right way to do it, right? And what someone like Bionic Pig and myself are doing, we're trying to pull examples that you're familiar with to teach you about these things. So maybe you can listen to these things and hear them and spot them yourself. Even if you're just a fan of music, that's one of the reasons why I like watching videos like Bionic Pig or Tristan Paredes. You know what? In fact, Tristan, who's that other guy with the long hair who recently cut his hair? Sam Johnson. Sam Johnson. So another point is Bionic Pig was talking about people get it twisted when you think that singing properly means singing beautifully. And he talks about how there's a right way to scream. And Tristan recently introduced me to another um, vocal coach on YouTube called Sam Johnson. And a lot of his older videos that she was showing me, he like critiques like, what, like death metal? Is that what it is? I'm not, I'm not in that niche. <laughs> it scares me. I love that he's able to go between that fry scream and a really healthy, high, like whiny mix belt. It's so cool that he's able to go between them because he's doing it well. But he critiques it. And that's something that Bionic Pig was talking about. And he, he talked about that with Disturbed. So it's important to understand, like some of it's of con out of concern. Some of it is just out of like teaching people. Some of it is just so you can appreciate what you're experiencing 
even more, you know? But, you know, when Bionic Pig was telling me that, you know, he sees potential in Joji, like, now that I'm at a place where my channel's bigger and other YouTubers are seeing my content, like, I would hope that they would see that I'm not just spewing out hate, but if they did take some of these suggestions, like to go to therapy or to work on some things or to be more self-aware or to acknowledge things or realize that what they're putting out on the internet might be a bad influence to people, I would hope that they take that into consideration. And I've had an assortment of big YouTubers see my videos and thank me. A great example is Illimation. Illimation has gone through, you know, um, different forms of mental health treatment and she thanked me because in my videos she learned even more about what she was going through. You know what I mean? But the problem is, is that a lot of people's perception is that people like Bionic Pig or myself are attacking people and just because you perceive that doesn't mean it's the reality. Like, think about that for a second. I, I don't know how many of you watching this are mind readers, but like, do you really think that you can judge somebody's intention? Like, I get that critique a lot. Not even a critique, I get that comment a lot, because that's not a critique, that's just a comment, where people are like, oh, you know what you were saying, you know what you were implying. It's like, that, what the, what was I implying? You know what I mean? But anyways, I wanna end this video by saying like, Bionic Pig, I feel your pain, brother. Um, he and I actually get a lot of the similar comments, right? So. This one right here says, I really don't know when I, uh, why I clicked on this. I know I was gonna get mad. So this is something that I want you guys to work on. This is where mindfulness comes in. I think you know, I'm thinking about doing a YouTube mindfulness practice for all of you, where you look at different uh, thumbnails and titles and check in with yourself and say, how is this making me feel? Is this anger arising? Is this curiosity, right? Is it sadness? What is that? But we also have to realize that we are, a lot of us are victims of something called contempt prior to investigation, right? Where people judge something before they even try it. I get so many people who comment on my videos before they even had the, the possibility to watch it. For example, the other day I had somebody, I posted a 15 minute video, somebody commented in the first three minutes talking all this smack, and I'm like, you didn't even watch the video, and they're like, how do you know? because I could see how long ago you commented, how long I posted the video ago, and how long my video actually is. So you guys, chill out, be mindful, and consume all of the content. I, I have found that a majority of people who do not like my content and disagree with my video, all of their critiques come from like the first three or four minutes of a 10 to 15 minute long video. Here's another one. Surely, if you've studied singing for years, you'd realize at some point that there's no one way to sing. And basically, like, Bionic Pig explains this. Like, it's not just Joji's style. Like, he's doing it wrong, and it could be better. But here's the thing, and here's why I use mental health as an example when you see relationships, or you see somebody dealing with depression, or anxiety, or taking a break, or whatever it is, because some of this stuff has been normalized, right? So Bionic Pig is using uh, music for uh, as an example, but when I'm using examples of toxic relationships, or depression, or anxiety, I'm trying to show you, like, I know you think that this toxic relationship is normal because that's what you've been in, but that doesn't mean that it's right. It doesn't mean that it's healthy. This next one says, I know nothing about music, but I think the way he sings goes with his style of music. I personally like it. Again, like let's use like relationships for an example. Some people, like I, like I use myself as an example. I used to enjoy being in toxic relationships because that's what I was used to. That was my style, right? Like I used to keep wondering why all this bad stuff was happening to me. Why me? Why can't I just find a good woman, right? But it's because I kept sitting in the same situation, finding the same type of woman, right? And I would just be like, well, that's just my type. My type is to find a verbally abusive woman. Oh, my type is to be afraid when I go to sleep because I don't know if she's gonna slap me or something, right? That doesn't mean that it's okay, right? So I, I want everybody who's watching this to realize that people like Bionic Pig, people like myself, I think there's even like channels where like they're reacting to like uh, hairstyles and like all makeup and you know, all that stuff, right? A lot of it is not coming in a malicious way. I know I just talked about the makeup community and hoo hoo girl, that's a different story. But a lot of us aren't doing anything in a malicious way. We're merely critiquing and trying to use things as an example to educate the masses, the people who are actually watching our videos. All right, but anyways, anyways, hopefully Bionic Pig and I get to a level of friendship where I actually learn his real name. 
Um, that would be cool. But <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for this video. Again, don't forget to head over to the Rewired Soul merch shop. Get yourself some sweet new swag. Link's down in the description. Use coupon code SOLUTION to get yourself 10% off, all right? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.